So at, at the London Pain Clinic, um, the most important thing when we see uh, patients for the first time is the assessment. Uh, and we really need to get to the bottom uh, of what the pain is, why it's there, why it's happened, and then we can come up with a treatment plan. And this is dealt with on uh, one of our other videos. When we talk to patients about treatment, um, there are another number of different treatment modalities that we use. So the mainstay of treatment for pain, whether it's uh, normal pain, nociceptive pain, or nerve pain, neuropathic pain, is to use medication. And we use uh, a variety of different medications, anti-inflammatories, pain killers, uh, anti-nerve pain medications, uh, etc. We're always trying to balance benefits in terms of pain relief versus any adverse effects and we have lots of little tricks to do that um, to allow patients to take their medication. Um, we also use uh, what we call minimally invasive pain management procedures and this may include for example the injection of uh, steroid preparations, of Botox, the use of radio frequency and that can be pulsed radio frequency or radio frequency denervation. Uh, we also use PENS therapy, peripheral electrical nerve stimulation therapy, and a wide number of other uh, treatment options that are available. Now, what is absolutely vital, and we uh, talk to the patients about a lot, um, is that essentially all of those treatment options are there to break the cycle of the pain, to reduce the intensity of the pain, uh, and to overall produce pain relief. That's really the first step. The second step is once we have managed to do that, um, is to rehabilitate the patient. Now what we know with pain is that often patients are extremely uh, deconditioned. Um, their muscles start to waste. Uh, they're not as strong. They don't have as much aerobic activity. They don't have as much uh, sort of reserve in them as it were. So they tire very easily. Uh, they're not able to really do much in the way of exercise, etc. So once we have that pain cycle broken, the next step is physical rehabilitation therapy. Now for that, um, we have a number of specialist pain physiotherapists that we work with. And uh, these are practitioners who are all physiotherapists by trade, um, but have a specialist interest in patients with pain. What we know is that um, giving a lot of patients who have persistent pain regular physiotherapy exercises, for example, um, often will not work. And we really have to work with the patient and the limitations that the patient may have to begin with in order to slowly improve their physical activity, their aerobic function and their overall uh, physical health.